Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Geo Guesser. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Wow, what a nice spot this is. The beauty of the big mountains, the grass, the fact that it kind of just disappears and goes right to snow in this kind of village here seems inaccessible, although there probably is a road to go here. The real question is where in the world are we? And this one's actually kind of tricky. I immediately kind of feel like Austria, but I don't know if that's, I mean, how remote can you really get? Because this feels like it's really remote. I don't feel like anywhere in Austria is really this remote, but maybe somewhere in between these highways, like right around here. I have no idea. Let's make the guess. And the answer was Georgia. Oh, I should have, I should have thought of that. But hey, that's right. Look at these mountains. Yeah, okay. Should have thought of that. Didn't think of it though. And man, what a place that is. Chaz Hasi. 1902 hopefully some of you guys figured that one out all right here we are in today's daily challenge location it's a swamp perhaps this is the location where everyone's favorite family friendly ogre lives shrek is this in what the hell's the, the name of the the place where shrek is set Farquad? No, is that the name of the king? I don't remember. I haven't seen Shrek in a very long time. I believe I've seen the first movie a ton of times because uh, at my old job in the old break room, we had a ton of VHS cassettes, uh, Shrek being one of them. So I probably have seen that movie about a thousand times uh, because there was a very limited selection. Although I have never seen Shrek 2 or 3, I believe I've also seen the fourth film since the place that I worked at was a movie theater, and Shrek, the fourth movie, came out while I worked there. So hell, it was free, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was worth the price of admittance, that being free. But hey, there you go, the internet seems to love Shrek, and what can I say, it's... Probably still, to this day, my favorite DreamWorks film, uh, because I'm not a fan of how to train... Uh, what, do I, what, am I even, what am I even talking about? Alright, let's get right to this. No, I'm not a big fan of How to Train Your Dragon or Kung Fu Panda or any of that nonsense. I think Shrek is alright. I don't care for Shrek 2, 3, or 4, but then again, I haven't seen 2 or 3. But hey, alright, let's talk about this location. It's a swamp. We can be anywhere in the world, and it is today's Daily Challenge location, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below, tell me where in the world you think we are, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by someone new to sending in viewer challenges. That would be our good friend, Storm Hunter. That is right. Thank you so much, Storm Hunter, for this one. Very excited to give this one a shot. Now, Storm Hunter is someone, sorry, I did say already someone new to sending in viewer challenges. There's no theme on this challenge. We could be absolutely anywhere in the world there's no theme, not even a secret theme, so there you go. This is going to be uh, a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Storm Hunter, for sending this one in. If you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the description below, find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. So thank you so much, Storm Hunter, for this. Let's go right ahead and have some fun, shall we? I think so. Boom. All right, so what do we got here? We've got... Leela Delman Real Estate, 401. For whatever reason, that seems like a familiar area code. But I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just thinking uh, a 416, which would be Toronto. But 401, because Highway 401 goes by Toronto. I think that's what I'm thinking. 401 is... I feel like I know the area code, but I have no idea where it is. New York is something with twos. Salt Lake City is something with eights. Um, and those are the few that just come to mind, so I, I don't know, but hey, I, I think we can figure this out. Founders Hall. Okay, we're at a university, uh, which is good. Some sort of university somewhere. It's actually quite nice. I've got to say, if we stay on campus here, at least I think it's a university, uh, we should be able to figure out where we are, unless we're like, you know, somewhere super fancy. I mean, this, these are just like giant, like, mansions or something like that. It's that, uh, is this like a, is this a giant mansion? 
I don't know. I, I don't think it is. I mean, it's called Founders Avenue, and there's like blue signs and everything. Definitely some kind of college and or university. Perhaps. 401. Hmm. Interesting area code. New York? Perhaps. Look at that. New York license plate. Although the other license plates we saw weren't New York plates. Uh, okay, we're seeing more and more New York plates. That seems to be good. Um, I don't think that we are... Hmm. Still, still a bit confused as to where we could possibly be. But I'm thinking we're in New York somewhere. So that's good. Speed limit is 25. And we got nice like, blue license plates too. But there's a lot of New York plates. So... Maybe we're going to be like, huh, Coach Canada. All right. What does this thing say? Open. Rose Cliff, the Prescription Society of Neptune Company. That's not what that sign says, is it? Well, okay. This is very interesting to me as to where we could be. Have, am I missing something obvious? So I feel like I might be. A lot of this stuff looks okay. A nice American flag. I'll say that is expected. Uh, something state. All right, so that's actually good. I feel like we're more in America, and I feel like I'm not missing as much as I possibly could be, which is nice. Um, I definitely feel... I don't know really where I feel like we are. Massachusetts. I feel like we're in New York. Because there was a lot of maybe like upstate New York or maybe, I don't know. The yellow license plates, there aren't really that many, but there are quite a bit. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Wait, like, wh where are we right now? This is such a nice place. Very, very fancy. Maybe we're somewhere on like, uh, maybe we're somewhere on like Long Island, somewhere like that. Is that a possibility? Is that a thing? What is, no, that's Connecticut. Maybe we're, like, somewhere in these, like, Hampton areas. Is that a nice place? I believe it really is. So maybe that's the kind of place that we're in. I would say, is this the Hamptons? Uh, perhaps. You know what? Honestly, it actually looks like that now that I see it. Yeah, that's what this looks like to me. Okay, where's the water? The water's to the south of us. That makes sense. Uh, Southampton, I believe, is where we're going to be. And... Um, yeah, some, so, so Southampton, something like uh, maybe, uh, I have no idea, like around here or something, or maybe, I don't think we're going to be all the way there, but I definitely feel like Southampton is going to be where we are. Is there some kind of, like, school? Hampton Bays, there's no, like, West Hampton Beach uh, I don't know. I, I'm looking for some kind of, like, university, but I have no idea where such a thing would be. A state park. I, I'm going to guess around there. I'm fairly certain that's where we are. And the answer was, oh, no, we were in Newport, Rhode Island? Is that what this state is? Is this Rhode Island? Yes, it is. Oh, I don't think we've actually been to Rhode Island, if I'm... Okay, there you go. So, I don't think we have been to Rhode Island. We were at Salve Regina University. All right, if you say so. 3107. That's actually really nice. I think Rhode Island's a state we haven't been to before. Oh, very cool. 3107. All right. I am down. Portland Regency Hotel. Well, do I think we're in Portland, Oregon? Or are we in one of the many other Portlands? Uh, by the look of it, I'm going to say perhaps another Portland. I'm fairly certain Portland, Oregon has much taller buildings than this, but, you know, that remains to be seen. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, goal, Port Bean, okay. Portland, are we in Portland, Maine? No, that's the Oregon flag, isn't it? The Oregon flag looks similar to that. There's a Portland, Maine, right? I didn't make that up. I believe I didn't. Do I think this is what Portland, Maine looks like? It might be. I don't know what the flag of Maine looks like. Doesn't the flag of Oregon, is, isn't it also like a flat blue flag with something on it? Now, all right, what are the odds? You know, the odds are pretty okay that there would be a Canadian flag in uh, 
that there would be a Canadian flag in Portland, Oregon. But I don't know. I mean, we're one state over, whereas he, whereas here we're like, you know, we're right on, we're right on near Canada. So that's that's a possibility. I have have I been to Portland, Maine? I feel like I have been to Portland, Maine. I f yeah, I feel like I stayed a night in Portland, Maine one time, driving to Nova Scotia, the long way. But maybe maybe just off the highway or something. I don't know if I ever visited this area over here. I don't remember it, so I'm gonna guess that I haven't. All right, something United Way. Do I think this is Portland, Maine? I think this is Portland, Maine. Portland, Oregon is a much bigger city than this. And this is actually a really, really nice place. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain we've got to be in Portland. Portland Fire Department, it's got to be Portland, Maine, right? There's, there's no way. There's no way we're in Oregon. Well, let's keep going down the road. Even though that flag did look like the flag of Oregon, making things a little bit more confusing for me. That's okay. Oh. Okay, well, based on that pickup truck I just saw there, I guarantee fucking tea we are in Portland, uh, we are in Portland, Maine. Because really, I mean, what is this? Is this, uh, are, are these like Red Sox fans? That's what we've got around here, Portland, Maine? I'm guessing we're in Red Sox land. So this, you know, there you go. That's the, that's the one clue I need, right? So, uh, we were... You know, right around, like, downtown, like, we were probably, like, one street up. There's no way that we're going to be in Oregon and we're going to see, like, a no New York Yankees sign. I mean, maybe. But I'll be honest with you. That'd be a little bit more surprising. Uh, Portland. Oh, God. And I know not enough about baseball. I've only been to a single baseball game in my entire life. Really? Have I only been to one? I think it was a Blue Jays versus Red Sox game, actually. Um, but in Toronto. But I, my God, I really, really, I think that's the, probably the only one that I've ever been to. Yeah, so we're definitely there. Um, but I don't know. What baseball team would, uh, would um, Portland be a fan of Portland, Oregon, be a fan of a baseball team. Does Portland have a professional baseball team? I'm going to say they might, but I have no idea. I mean, I recently found out that the Trailblazers existed, right? I had no idea that they were a team that played basketball. So, you know, I'm finding things out uh, on that as well. Do they have a baseball team? Maybe, maybe not. Are they going to be a bigger fan? If they don't, are they going to be a bigger fan of San Francisco or Seattle? Uh, I'd say probably Seattle. That seems to make sense. And if Seattle has a team, what's it called? I have no idea. The, the you know, to some there you go. A lot of information that I don't know. But the answer it was indeed Portland, Maine, sixty-four seventy-seven. This is going to be none other. Then, beautiful, uh, Nook? I don't know, it's the first thing that came to mind, is we're going to be in, like, Nook. But, I've got a feeling that I'm wrong on this. Did we have rocks with fun faces on them? Oh, look at that, we do have rocks with fun faces on them. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Nook was the first thing that came to mind, but I don't know if that's true. I might be completely wrong on this one. Um... Let's keep moving down this way and see what can we see. Well, first, let's get a, let's get ourselves a language. I mean, that's going to be the first thing to find out. But yeah, you know, I, I gotta say, I, I really, I really don't know. I this is not this is not um, Norway, I believe. I believe that this is not .gl. There you go. You see? You see, this is indeed... And did I say this is not Norway? Uh, well, if I did, I meant this is not... Well, I mean, it's not Norway either. But what I meant to say is this is not Iceland, is what I was trying to get out of there. .gl. So, yeah, Nook. That was a pretty decent guess. I'm kind of happy that I made that one. Uh, it might not be. There may be other cities in Greenland that I'm forgetting uh, that are uh, this big. But 
I believe that this is, well, you know, apparently we're going to be going this way. All right, let's go all the way down here. I believe that we're going to be definitely in Greenland. I mean, that one sign seems to, you know, lead me to believe that quite strongly. Uh, can we go this way, please? All right, let's go this way. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. I mean, this is a really nice city. I wonder what there is to do here, though. I, there's probably some fun to be had. But, like, no, it's definitely not as remote as Svalbard. And maybe it is more remote than Svalbard. I don't know. It, it's It's hard to tell. I would say it's probably less remote than Svalbard. I don't know if you need to carry, like, a gun with you uh, the moment you, like, leave the city. You know, that that might not be something that's required by law. Whereas I believe it is in Svalbard, or at least uh, that one video that that one guy who makes really interesting videos uh, has told me that. Now, the question is, well, we've, we've wound up here. You know, I'm just going to have to guess that this is Nook. I mean, it seems big enough that it probably is, unless it's something else. But, you know, I'd be surprised if it was. So here's Nook right over here. Uh, yeah, quite big. We're going to go, we're like, right around uh, right around here. And the answer was, yep, it was indeed Nook. 64, 48. And that bridge. I feel like I should know what city this bridge is in just by looking at it immediately. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. And I don't know if that police car to the left of us just told us the city and I just didn't see it. But it might have. Looking at this, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is, I don't know, places where there are bridges. There's a bridge to our right, bridge there, Pittsburgh. But let's have a, uh, that's not a police car. Let's have a good look at this. Boston, upper deck trolley tours. Well, I mean, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? There you go, 21 stops. Would I have guessed Boston seeing this? I might have. I might have guessed Boston. Uh, I may have guessed Boston. I don't know if I would have, but perhaps. So in Italy, all roads lead to Rome. In Boston, all roads lead to Filippo. I mean, sure. I mean, not really. Not all roads in Italy lead to Rome. Uh, I'll give you some good examples of roads that don't lead to Rome. Every single road in uh, Sicily. Also, every single road in Sardinia. So, there you go, uh, including probably a, f a bunch of others, if, if we're being honest here. I don't know, like non-connected roads it seems a bit not likely that there are too many, uh, unless you count private roads, which you shouldn't. But, um, you know, Italy has islands, not just the big ones. There are several others, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at these little things right here. These are islands that have roads. None of those lead to Rome. So, there you go, Filippo. You should uh, take down that big sign of yours. If the restaurant's not all right. Oh, come on, Boston. Why you got to do this to me? Now, Boston is known for its tunnels. Actually, it's known to me for its tunnels because Boston is one of those places that you try and, you know, go along in street view and you end up in a damn tunnel every two seconds. Like, it's probably nice that there are a lot of tunnels under Boston. I don't know. Maybe it's nice. Maybe it's not. Maybe it takes away traffic from surface streets. Maybe it turns Boston into a hellish labyrinth that only... Um, people who have lived there for like 10 years can figure out. But uh, to someone who wants to take a nice scenic tour of it uh, in Street View, it turns it into... Because uh, look at this, it's a beautiful city, isn't it? It's one that I, I hear... Uh, why are we looking at Italy? I mean, <laughs> just because that Filippo restaurant, right? Uh, it's one that uh, if you look at the streets, you're like, oh, Jesus. Uh, because, like, look at this. It's no, no grids here. Uh, I'm sorry, there's, uh, like, jeez, look at this. Wow, isn't that something? So, you know, we're guessing around here. Yeah, the tunnels are around there as well. So, hopefully we've gone out of, we've gone away from that. But, I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, Jesus, come on. Ah, God damn it. See, Boston, you got it. Okay, let's go. No, okay, let's, can we, I need to get out of here. Let's get out of a tunnel. Oh, God, all right, well, <laughs> Come on. All right, let's try in this way. All right, there you go. This will lead us not to a tunnel, right? There's a nice little bridge here. Oh, there you go. See, PAX is here in Boston. Eventually, I'm going to go to a PAX. One of these one of these years. It's not going to be this year. Uh, but one of these years, maybe next year. I'd like, to, I'd like to go to a PAX one of these years. It's in November, right? November and then, uh, and then May. November and May. 
That's when PAX's are. I believe so. Uh, this looks like a convention center. Do I think PAX is uh, located in this building here? I don't know. I've never been. But I do intend on going eventually because it seems like a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, no, that's probably not where PAX is set. That seems like too fancy a building. Uh, but you never know. Um, so there you go. One of these days I'll go. But, uh, you know, I I'd have to, you know, save up money and stuff like that. And the idea is like I don't know if any of my if any of my real life friends want to go. That's the thing. So I I have to convince them because I don't know about going alone. So all right, there you go. Beautiful. Let's make the guess, and the answer is sixty-three eighty-seven. Boom. And the next place is well, it's a car wash, and it's in New York, I believe. A car wash in New York. No, I uh, it's, no, it's not a car wash in New York. Look at this. I should probably start reading. Okay, so where are we other than New York? Yellow license plates, but they're really like they look like North American license plates. If I'm being honest, they got pickup trucks and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what this is about. Fifty-five dollars per square meters. I don't know if that's a lot. Per square meter, honestly, I, I it's hard to tell. Also, the sign is dollars. Oh, that makes things a little bit more confusing. What country is this going to be? The yellow license plates, whatever reason, makes me think we are in Mexico, but I might be, oh, Colombia. All right. That seems to make enough sense to me. Colombia. At yahoo.com. Oh my god, there's a Dunkin' Donuts here. My god, it feels like we're in Boston all over again. Uh, there you go. A uh, Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I've never been to a Dunkin' Donuts. I'm assuming it's similar to Tim Hortons in that it's like a shitty coffee chain that a lot of people uh, like. But, you know, I'm also guessing that it's like Tim Hortons in the sense that for the money, it's actually pretty damn good. Because a lot of people like to shit on Tim Hortons and say that it's rubbish coffee. And to that I say, have you ever been to a Starbucks? That is way worse coffee. And it's much more expensive. I will say that Second Cup, may Second Cup makes a nice cup of coffee. And they are, you know, about as expensive as a Starbucks. And if you say, oh, that's a lot better, then I'll say, okay, sure, you know what, you're right. They are. But they are a lot more expensive. And... You know, if I if I'm not gonna lie, a Tim Hortons ice cap is actually a uh, very nice, inexpensive drink, and I haven't had their donuts or Timbits for years, but those are also very good. Uh, yeah, there's, I mean, those are also you know pretty good, especially for the money. And then uh, you know, even like a good old fashioned ham and Swiss, which is literally just a ham sandwich on toasted white bread with ranch dressing, which sounds probably awful, but you know what? It's actually pretty decent. So there you go. Although I will say that a Tim Hortons ham and Swiss is overpriced because you're paying $5 for a really shitty sandwich. You can pay $5, go to Subway, get yourself a much better sandwich than that for $5. So I'm not going to say that that's good value. Jeez, look at that. That's pretty creepy, isn't it? Uh, so I think we are in Colombia, probably in Bogota, if I had to make a guess. Uh, we're going to click like, right over here down in the middle of it. But, uh, yeah, so Tim Hortons, not overpriced drinks or, uh, I guess, like donuts and Timbits and stuff like that. Probably overpriced sandwiches. Actually, definitely overpriced sandwiches. Uh, what, what can I say? That, that, that's true. You got, a, you got a good point there. Uh, but you know what? As like a, a, ro a nice road trip stop, you know, you're on the road, you want to get yourself a coffee and you want to get yourself a sandwich and something like that. You know, Tim Hortons definitely ain't bad. It's a nice stop on the road. Makes a great road trip stop and you can find them all across Canada and it's going to taste the same all across Canada. So there you go. And I guess some people, I'm guessing Dunkin' Donuts is a similar style story to that. You know, the people like the coffee the same way people like the Tim Hortons coffee, full of cream and sugar. It's not the kind of thing you put in yourself. You know, they press the button. They do it themselves behind the counter. Yes, for a double-double, two cream, two sugars. They give you that. Uh, so I'm assuming Dunkin' Donuts, same similar thing. I get it. I get it. Although I've never been. And I don't intend to. Well, hell, maybe. But I don't see why. All right. Bogota. 
the answer, 61-22. Nice. So, that was a very nice one. I only really missed the first one where I thought we were in the Hamptons or Southampton, which I don't know, but we were actually in Newport, Rhode Island. Wow. Well, that was still a very nice place. Then we went off to A. Yeah, that's right. A, then B, Portland, Maine. It's like Portland, Oregon, but different. Uh, probably very different. Then we went to Nook in Greenland. That was very fun. Then we went to Boston. Very cool. And finally, Bogota in Colombia. Well, I'm going to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know that I certainly have. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm going to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.